What's up team, Sensei Steve here, and today I'm gonna to level up our split kick. Now, what is the split kick you might be asking? Let me show you. Start with the hands up, bring the feet together, jump, and kick out to the side with both legs, just like this. Oh yeah. Now team, how can we improve our split kick? Well, first, we gotta make sure we're jumping as high as we can. Second, in order to jump as high as we can, we gotta make sure we have our chambers. Last but not least, we gotta make sure we snap our kicks out, just like in our front kicks. So team, today I wanna to give you guys a few different exercises that you can do at home to improve your split kick and even all your other jump kicks. So team, first things first, let's work on a squat jump. What I want you guys to do for your homework is, I want you guys to give me 10. So right now, I want you to do three with me, and when we do our squat jump, I don't want you to just squat, jump. That's too easy. I need you to squat, I need you to jump, and bring your knees up, either in front of you, or if you can, bring them out to the side, like a frog. Ready, ready? Squat, jump. That's one. Let's do it again. Squat, jump. That's two. Squat, jump. That's three. And like I said, for your homework, I want you to do 10 of those. But again, team, watch the difference. If I just squat and jump, eh, that looks okay. But if I want to make that look better, squat, bring up your chambers, and pick them up to the side if you can. The next thing I want you guys to work on is your chamber. Picking it up, picking it up, that's it. So again, team, we're going to do some front kicks now. I need you guys to pick your chamber up high and then snap your kick out. Let's do three off each leg. So you ready? Take the right leg, put it in the back. Hands up. My back leg is going to go front kick, snap, right back. Remember, all four parts in our kicks. Ready? Do it again. Go. Snap. Right back. One more and go. Snap. Right back. Well, let's try the other side. Ready? Go. Snap it. Right back. Do it again. Snap it. Right back. Last one and go. Snap it. Right back. Now, team, like I said, I want you guys to do 10 front kicks off each leg to work on your snap. Because the split kick, you're doing two front kicks in the air. And what you have to make sure you don't do, team, watch my front kick, watch my front kick. I don't want to kick and let my leg go down. I'm in control of my foot. I'm in control of my body. So when you do your front kick, snap it out and bring it right back. Snap. And you put it down where you want. Try the other side. Snap. And you put it down where you want. Last but not least, team, how's your flexibility? Oh, let me back up some. Nope, Sensei, that's as far as I can go. Oh, that's okay. The more flexible you are, the easier your split kick's gonna be, your jump kicks. The more flexible you have, the kicks are a lot easier to me. So, work your straddles. Hands up, and just go as low as you can. Can you vanish from the screen? I'm almost there, I'm almost there. Oh, and then do it again. So team, what I want you guys to do, I want, like I said, I wanna level up our split kick. And again, it starts with our jump. It starts with our chambers. And it also starts with that snap, just like the front kick. Snap! And that's it. And team, for a bonus, if that feels easy to you, level up. Do a tornado kick. You saw the knees, you saw the chambers. Take that tornado kick and do a split kick. In the middle, spin, knee, split kick. Well, if you go faster team, that's no longer a tornado split kick. It's not a split kick anymore. That's called an extreme, a extreme move called a crowd awakener. This is, this is what it looks like full speed. So team, get some safety space, have some fun, and again, work your squat jumps, Work your front kicks, snapping, and also work your straddles. The more flexible you are, the easier your kicks are going to be. Awesome job today, team. Awesome.